the BBC for West Yorkshire. BBC Radio Leeds. I want to thank everybody today. You've done me proud. I came on the air this morning very disheartened in reading a terrible story in the sun of a dog that had been hung from a bridge by its drunk owner. He's gone down uh, for uh, ten weeks in prison, and so he should. We then heard a story out of Kirkstall this morning that uh, eight puppies were left for dead. And it made me very sad, and I wanted to find them a home, and we've managed to do that this morning. I'm going to get to that next. First, though, Stan's on the uh, mobile this morning. Good morning to you, Stan. Good morning. What can I do for you? Well, I don't know. I'm just reading all this, and I just I, I just find it fantastical, really, to be honest. What's fantastical, love? Uh, OK. How many ants nests have you got in your garden? What's that got to do with it? Well, it is re- it's relevant. It's life. But life isn't about me deliberately going out my way to hurt another animal, is it? Oh, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. So um, what's your problem? Do you, do you, listen, do you drive to work? No. Do you walk to work? Yes. Do you, uh, do you know anybody that drives to work, then? What's your point? My point is, every single road in Britain has destroyed, has killed life. Has killed some animal or other. How can you compare me driving along a motorway and perhaps running over a squirrel with a man? Hang on. Well, no, no, you hang on a minute. Wait wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you're telling me is that a fluffy little puppy has a a bigger life, has a bigger right to life than a squirrel. You're missing the point. The intention. Hang on. You just said to me. Hang on a second. You have just said to me that how can I compare you running over a squirrel. And let me explain to you why. To a puppy. So what you're telling me is. But that squirrel has no right to life. Just let that me explain. has every right to life. When I go, right my or wrong? when I go driving my car, my intention yeah. is not to kill a squirrel. This That's guy absolutely. threw this dog off a bridge with a That's piece of rope right. round its neck. It's the person right. who left the eight puppies in Kirstall was going there with the intention of leaving them to die. That is <coughs> intent. There's intent there. That's the difference between a person right, driving into let me work. Ask you this simple question. It's a very simple question. Go ahead. You'll not be able to answer it. If a wasp flew into your living room yes. and wanted to build build a nest yeah. on your light. Are you a happy person? Room, Stan? No, that has happened to me. Stan, are you a happy person? What kind of person are you? I'm a realistic person. Well, let me give you some realism. No, you're not realistic. Well, hang on, hang on. You've had your say, let me have my say. I came on the air this morning to save eight dogs who were left for dead. If you can't see the purpose of me doing that... What you're not realising is... Are you a new listener to this station, Stan? Animals get killed on our roads, they get killed in our habitat, they get killed Stan, every single Stan, what's day. your problem? Why can't you just live and let live? I've come on here today with the intention to save <laughs> eight dogs who were left for dead. Why Absolutely. have you got a problem with me doing that? I'll tell you what, right, I'll tell you what, I've got 17 squirrels. What's your problem, Stan? No, Don't you like me? Are you I've angry? Squirrels. Can you find them out? In fact, wait a minute, I've got 17 money spiders. Stan... But you're not bothered about money Stan. spiders, are you? Because money spiders, you can't stroke them, can you? I'm very bored now. I've listened I know to you. Are, you. Because, you know what? Because you have no answer. I have an answer. You're very clever on the radio. This is you're my answer to you, off. Stan. You I came actually, on air this morning with the intention... Answer. I'm sick of listening to you. I came on this radio station with this morning with the intention to save eight dogs who are left for dead. Don't judge me. This is BBC Radio Leeds. It's Alex Belfield in the morning. Good morning. Rita's on next uh, in Clackheaton. Good morning, Rita. Good morning. Uh, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. Uh, what a I... fart, Ed. We didn't need that at the end of the programme, did we? No, you didn't indeed. You didn't, but there's always one, you know, everywhere. Uh, my question, Alex, is, is anyone actively looking for the mother of these puppies? Because she will be tormented. We talked about this at the beginning of the program. The fear is that that uh, mother yeah. will be dead because yeah. the, the stress she's been through and the fact that she's left with all this milk. I know. I know. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, but my heart goes out to the mother of those puppies. And if they can ever find whoever did this dreadful thing, well, that will be all to the good. I don't need to talk anymore. I'm just concerned about the mother of these puppies. Don't get upset. 
Yeah. We've done our best this morning, and I'm sorry Stan needed to come on at the end and taint what was a genuine gesture on my part, which was to find a home, and we've done it. And you've done it. And well You need to you. see the inspiration in Barbara in Bradford, in Tracy in Hebden Bridge, yes. in Louise in Castleford, in Kevin in Halifax, and Ken in Burley, and Sarah in Castleford, who have all opened their hearts this morning to these dogs. And I don't care what Stan says. When I drive my car, I don't intend to kill anything. A man who can throw a dog off a bridge with a rope round its neck has a problem. And a person who can leave eight puppies in a box in Kirstall, in a park, to die, has a problem. That's very true. You've done a sterling job. Well done. I love you. Thank Thank you for coming on the programme this morning. Bye-bye. That'll be it then for a Thursday morning at BBC Radio Leeds. Thank you to you for all your help today. You're my hero this morning and thank you for sorting out. I'm sorry Stan left us with such a bitter taste in our mouths. I'll be back tomorrow from 10 till 2. This is BBC Radio Leeds with Alex Belford in the morning. Liz Green is on next.